Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Noita, uh, where today we are starting with water and dynamite and spitterbolt. Hey, I like it. This is a pretty good set of things. So, we now know that if we really, if we want to figure out exactly what's going on with that alchemy area over there to the west, we gotta bring some, like, we gotta bring some real tools. Although, you know, there were some, there were some things in there. We could, I suppose just hope to get lucky if we, if we get the tools to get over there hope to get lucky enough from the stuff we find in there to be able to fight the boss it seemed like a pretty a pretty healthy enemy though like I don't know exactly what I would want for something like that I suppose if we had fire bolts or fireballs that would be a really good time to use them yeah it boy it really does suck though <laughs> how much damage we took all at once in a way that I don't really feel like... Like, I didn't feel like we got hit exactly. Uh, egg. Okay, sure. I'll take friends. It felt like we were just too near the wand while it was forming? I don't know, it's a very weird thing. Uh, we do not have a way of start- I oh, know, this, this starts fire, so what am I talking about? Huh. Okay, well, I'm pretty surprised by that. So, Shuffle, it's got a very low cast light and a very low low recharge time. There's definitely some value to this. Oh, please don't catch on fire. Okay. Cool trap. So that's just a big bottle of worm pheromones, which, to be honest with you, I don't feel like we need. And I mean, our current wand isn't terrible, but we'll probably swap our spitter bolts into the new wand. Provided that we, you know, make it alive to a place where we can do that. I do like the spitter bolt quite a lot. I guess we should probably go get that gold. I, I never want to go toward the sludgy guys. What is... It's a big pile of sludgy coal, for some reason. Alright, well, we're doing pretty well on money for being, you know, two minutes into the run. So, if we don't get the tools necessary to go to the darkness, I don't really have a strong plan. Um, I guess at some point we should, at some point we need to see what happens if we successfully um, fight and kill the boss from the Orb of Knowledge area to the right. But again, that requires quite a bit of luck, just like getting decent weapons early on. I don't know if there's if there's a thing that we could be doing necessarily to make that more likely. Um, and aside from that, I guess our, our goals are just to continue exploring downward. Continue exploring the side areas further down. Because I'm sure there's lots and lots of stuff we haven't seen yet. And there are still some... Um, Still some rather obvious mysteries, even in the areas that we have been to, uh, that I would love to get to know more about. Like, for example, in the snow area, that weird statue of a hand with the two fingers pointing up. What's the story with that? What's that for? How do I exploit that to my advantage? Ooh, blood potion. Nice. You know, I wonder... <clears throat> how valuable would an egg be against that boss over to the left? You know, it's it's possible that he would have trouble killing it with his weird, very slow-firing attacks. It might actually be really good. I'm gonna kick this over here and try to get, a, get an accident kill. Yeah! Didn't get all of them, though. Still, that's a pretty damn good amount of money. Yeah, it might be the case that, like, a couple of minions would be really helpful. And, of course, we've seen lots of spells that would have been really cool to have. Um, rock spirits and stuff. We were well outfitted for fighting the normal enemies in that area who just are not... They have a lot of health, but they're not very threatening. But we were not ready to fight that boss. Who honestly isn't even that different, right? He's using the same attacks as the non-threatening enemies. It's just 
you have to survive combat for a much longer time against him, and he has he has other stuff going on. And I suppose if I bought if I brought a more dangerous weapon in, it wouldn't necessarily be all value for us, right? Because he reflects your uh, your attacks to some degree. Stupid collapsed mines version of that guy having ten million health. Ah. Yeah, okay, everything's fine. Did that slime dude die? He did. Well, we're gonna be just fine on money. Just trying to push this way as quickly as I could to avoid getting caught in the fire. There's so much oil around here. This is a very oil-heavy version of this biome. Oh, hey, a runestone. The runestone of emptiness. Which, as far as we know, just deletes projectiles, right? I mean, there's something to be said for that, especially since it seems to be so much more effective uh, against projectiles that are traveling toward it than it is projectiles that are traveling away. Right, you could drop one of those in the boss room and then... Just hang out next to it. Some small number of your shots get through and none of the bosses do, and eventually the, you know, the math just works out in your favor. It's a plan. It's not like, maybe not the best plan, but it's certainly a plan. Oh, I bet the gold zipped all the way to the surface. So we have easy access to... The, um, to the area over here with our dynamite, but I just don't... I think this is going to be one of those cases where it's not even worth going over there. Do I want this? Um, probably more than I want an oil potion. Well, nah, an oil potion definitely has utility. There are enemies that we could, that we could fight with this, for sure. So how do we... Alright, it doesn't look like there's going to be an easy way to access that little pocket up there. And we don't necessarily know that doing so would be valuable anyway. Okay, well these guys are annoying. But they are worth quite a bit of money, if I'm not mistaken. Should be spawning his uh, his backup soon. There you go. The hope, of course, is that you just hit them with the acid immediately after they spawn. There's still some live acid here, unfortunately. Don't get it. Okay. Well, we got some of the money. Boy, I sure hope that I'm not going to be on the hook for all that damage. Yeah, I think we're just moving downward this time. We have not the tools for the dark area, nor the tools to go to the surface. And I'm sure there are many more secrets to uncover elsewhere, right? We certainly have not seen everything that the, uh, the lower areas have to offer. Yeah, we really have done a lot of structural <laughs> damage to the temple, though. see if there's anything else we can grab around here, because honestly, pretty loot thin so far. In particular, not uh, not too happy about zero health ups. Damn it. There we go. Okay, unfortunately, I think we may have... Uh, May have reached the end of the useful stuff. Oh, that's not good. Don't want to fight that guy. We are definitely going to get caught on fire. Although, I guess I have a thing full of water. It's, yeah, it's probably not so bad. Ow. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this, I suppose. We're just, we're just gonna leave anyway. We may as well leave now. Okay, that was a larger 
shake than I was expecting. So Sea of Water with three charges. Interesting. Vertical Barrier definitely seems like it could be useful. Torch is probably not so useful now. Right, I don't, I don't, I don't know that it's, oh shit, right. He's mad. Uh, this may not be a good time to think. Let's just buy some things and run. I'll take Sea of Water. Okay, I'm going. Oh god, that caught me in the face. Uh, close this. So if you haven't rearranged your wands at all, the game forces that thing open. Crush him, crush him, crush him. I was really hoping that was going to kill him. Alright, can I still edit here? No. Can I... If I move back here, can I edit? Nope. What about all the way back here? He's just leaking bone dust all over the place. Nope, once the rocks have fallen... Yeah, that's a shame. Uh, unfortunately, I don't feel that I really had the opportunity to do any editing there. We were kind of on the clock. I mean, frankly, I just don't feel it's very necessary either. I definitely clicked this. I also could just press 5, like, you can do that with the arrow keys. But I never do for some reason. You know, five's not, like, it's not that close to my hand. So fireflies ruin my day immediately. Come on, break! Boy, the chain's always so eager to break when I don't want it to. Well, there's that. Now you've done it. I would love to go down there and get all that money we are creating. Ah! This little asshole creature's knockback, perfectly keeping me off of all of the money. Very annoying. All right, so this run's basically over. Like we're ju we're just gonna have to leave the area now. Uh, okay, firebombs, pretty whatever, but some of these modifiers are cool. And yeah, we're just looking for the exit. We're going to be severely underpowered going into Area 3, but we'll die if we stay here. Cool. Yep. This is going terribly. Alright, this isn't too dense. Jump, jeez. There's so many tiny little ledges that your feet get stuck behind. Stupid procedurally generated terrain. It's almost like it wasn't even designed to be played on. Alright, we're at 9 health and things are just... Things are going sideways -er all the time. Every moment is more sideways than the last. Okay, that's just some lava, you know. Just a little bit of lava. Oh my god. The recast delay on that wand. Really awful. Alright, well I'm bummed out about that, but we basically got like nothing of value in the first area and... It is imperfect, but perhaps not totally surprising. So, pheromones, spark bolt, and bombs. I'll say this, in some ways it does feel like The Binding of Isaac. Where like if you're playing as um if you're playing as Isaac in particular, or uh, there's a couple other, you know, Maggie, um, especially prior to the D6 on Isaac though. It's just like if you don't get some pretty significant upgrades to your potential to deal damage, it's not like it prevents you from moving forward into the later areas, but it does mean that moving forward is going to be extremely tedious, 
And I don't think that this game is anywhere near as bad in that respect. Like, the enemy health doesn't rise all that much, and you start with a damage potential that's much more reasonable. Um, but it definitely does feel that way in the sense that, like, if you don't get some, if you don't get some new wands or some new spells pretty early on in Noita, um, it does feel like you have to just run away. You don't really have the ability to fight in the later areas, and then you end up broke, and then you can't buy new stuff. You know, it turns into a, a an ugly self-reinforcing uh, cycle. I desperately need equipment. What I, my point is, I desperately need cool stuff. Show me some neat spells. And I think in Noita, it works a lot better as a design, in part because of... Die, damn it. Of course, if you have the Spark Bolt as your primary wand, you do... It does feel like you start very, very poor on damage. With the other one, the other projectiles, it's a lot better. This is not a liquid that puts out fires. That's wild. Yeah, because it, it creates a stain, but it doesn't... Well, I don't really know what to do about that. Oh, blood. Blood, yes. Ooh, sweet, sweet blood. What? There's not a fire up there. Oh, there's a tiny, tiny bit of lava. There's like two pixels of lava underneath the pheromones. Yeesh. I really thought that was going to hack out the underside of that a little bit more effectively. Ugh. Alright, well, we've got such low potential that spending two bombs for that I think is the right thing to do. But yeah, I feel, I feel like we're in a grim spot here. So that's... That's a coup? It looks like it wants to be free. Is that a, that's a piece of wood above it, right? So if we... Yeah. If we could start a fire, I think we can make room for that thing to, to roll out of there. And then I guess we'll see what happens? Yep, it definitely wants to go up. What are you? Are you an enemy? can't hurt it. Can I can I pick it up? Yes. It's a tiny little planet. Okay. Was there an update? How are we how are we all of a sudden finding new items? Why is there why is there so much game in this game? Uh, do we have a good way of accessing that? What is that? Toxic sludge. I it's hard to imagine a reason that I would want to pick up the toxic sludge. Ugh. I didn't even want this toxic sludge that I did get all over me. Oh, hey. More HP up. Ah. Yep, I needed to not get hit by that shotgun. And, of course, uh, once they've locked onto you, man, it's, it's very difficult to evade. Well, we ended up in a place there where we could have ended up with... We ended up in a place where we could have ended up with health. We could have had some decent health going into Area 2, which would have given us a little bit more exploratory power. Okay, that's very on fire. So let's rescue this now before it gets consumed by falling oil fires. I don't know why they didn't call it the falling oil fires engine. I think it's easily as compelling of a name. Okay, that guy hit me posthumously, which I do not appreciate. That is a spell. Those usually take more than one hit to blow up. I think we got a little screwed there. That guy's definitely not dead. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get to that. Let's not worry about it.
Okay. Burning trails, not even good. But I saw a free thing, and I had to have it. And I thought, you know, it would be real easy and uh, not very painful to get. Because I am bad at game learning. I'm bad at game learning. Hi, everybody. I'm SB, and I'm bad at game learning. So, we're still kind of just at default, right? Like, this is, this is sort of what I was talking about. We spend a lot of, spend a lot of time running around this first area at our default starting everything. Default starting utility, default starting strength. And desperately, desperately hoping that we will find something that will matter. And there's not, there's not a ton we can do about it. And, like, I don't even think necessarily th that the game does a bad job of giving you access to stuff. Like, the shops between between levels are very useful. But, they're not very useful for trying to explore the secrets in the first area. Because of, you know, the fact that you can't be in the first area very easily and also get to the shop. This is too much slime. There is too much slime in the world. Okay. What is that? It's a drilling thing? Okay. That's effective. It cuts through wood very well. Wow, I fell. I fell like a stone there. That was crazy. This is a weird situation up here. Don't know why that's like that. Can I kick that explosive into them? Maybe. But I don't even know what happened over there. You know, this is this is Nointa, right? Everything's always got to be a nightmare. And the digging bolt even works through rock. This does seem useful. I blew it up too early. Alright, please get crushed by the burning thing as it falls over. Nope, it just it fell straight down, unlike the way it always falls any other time. Okay, that's I think that's gonna hold. These enemies are in cahoots. Just teaming up. And also camping. They're campers and they're teamers. Hmm? I just did that. I just ran right up to that. Because again, no no respect, no regard for my own well-being, really. I do like digging, though. I do like the digging bolt. I think this is a really nice thing to find. It's going to get us to a lot of places that we're not supposed to be. I just have to survive to make use of it. Wow, that guy... That was a very effective little skiing maneuver. Uphill skiing maneuver he pulled off. Somebody's been pra practicing their pathfinding. Alright, come on. Really excellent wand. It looks very stubby, which... Yeah. I don't know if it actually is the case that the bigger wands tend to have greater capacity. And also just more things in them. But it kind of seems like it, right? That's not a it's not a scientific observation. It's a very casual observation. But it is still an observation. Alright, you guys gotta give me your money. I do not have enough money to feel comfortable going down to the next level yet. I really appreciate your donations to the cause. See, these guys aren't all bad. They carry the money and then they give it to you. And they almost never bite you so hard that your limbs come off. It is a little easier to deal with the uh, the hordes of those dudes when they're in water. What is that? There's definitely something blue here that I can't, for some reason, I can't get the UI to recognize. I wonder why it is that those little purple dudes float when they're alive and sink like a stone when they're not. Does their, does their 
density change. Perhaps they are perhaps they are usually supported by a system of fluid-filled bladders that they must maintain through conscious force and effort. All right, no, uh, digging bolt. Get me through here. Money. All right, four twenty-four. I wouldn't feel too bad going to the next area with this. Yeah, it's, it's probably the case that a fair amount of the problems that I am having stem from me trying to get access to these first area secrets. So it looks like no matter how much you try, the digging bolt will not cut through metal. But it will get through rock. That's something. That solves a lot of different problems. See, all of a sudden, when he's fighting enemies, he's a terrible shot. Alright, are we just leaving? I think we're just leaving. I'm not even gonna bother wiping the poison off. Let's just, let's just go. Alright, some new ones. What do we got? Something exciting? Okay, maybe. So, we have access to Slime Ball. Slime Ball, of course, is pretty powerful. Let's, um... Let's consolidate our bombs. And we can drop this horrible garbage wand. And then, like, I... We probably want to buy this thing, right? It has double spell on it. Castaway Zero. That's interesting. Two-thirds of a second recharge time is not, like... I'm not, uh, like, super psyched about it. So I do hate that this has shuffle. We're getting an amount of, uh, an amount of shaking that I assume is indicative of a, um, a worm in the next area. So that's a thing to be aware of. These wands are substantially similar. Oh, they're the, yeah, they're the same guy. So, okay, maybe it's the case that each wand has like a base set of characteristics and then there's a little bit of randomness within them because like even though these are the same wand they don't actually have the same castellan recharge time it's just similar so over time we could i suppose learn what to expect from different shapes of wands although i can't really think of a situation where it would matter where like it would actually be beneficial to you to know that from a distance you can always just run up on a wand. Uh, so if I'm dropping a wand, which one is it? It's probably this one. All of our wands are, are quite are quite similar. So yeah, let's drop that by you. And then I think pull all of the magic off of you and go back to the other wand. I just it's so hard to apply modifiers to a wand that has shuffle. And the modifiers seem, like, tremendously important. So if we go double spell, triplicate bolts. Now we have a really good shotgun wand. Um, so, like, we want, we want to keep this one around for digging. If we have this for digging, we have a greatly reduced need for bombs. And then, like, this is a good long-range projectile wand... And that means we kind of just don't need Spitterbolt anymore. Let's see. I don't like how long the refire delay on this wand is, but it's the only wand we have that has a capacity of more than two, and you can't take advantage of double spell without it. Yeah, that does suck. I mean, I think we're going to be using this thing to fight most of the time. So I think I'm going to pull the Spitterbolts, and we're going to plan to replace this wand when we find something new and like i said we will mostly be fire fighting with this thing this is our like group fighting wand if it comes right down to it and then we have a good powerful digging tool okay 
So, no direct damage from explosions is definitely significant. So is Revenge Tentacle, though. I have no idea, on average, like what percentage of the damage we take is from projectiles, but it feels like it's got to be pretty significant, right? And then also, sometimes you get in a situation where you're taking lots of little packets of damage, and the tentacle is going nuts and totally ruining people. Oh. It's like he doesn't want to die horribly. Okay, that's interesting. 0.53 recharge. So right now, all it does is cast Luminous Drill, but we can, we can make something happen with this. So we've been all the way to the upper right side on this map, right? We know we know that on the right side this map just walls. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, these uh this softer the softer stone of the coal veins is really, really easy to get through. Damn it. There we go. So we could just go back to the fungal cavern in the hopes of getting good wands out. Blasted myself. You know what? Fine. You get to live. Yeah, you just hit you hit the hard rock over here. And I'm assuming the digging bolt is ineffective. <laughs> yeah, okay. Boy, this is... We can only get a little bit of that gold, really? Yeah, huh. Weird little area. Also, I consumed a lot of water that had been sitting for a long time with toxic sludge in it, so maybe maybe shouldn't be doing that. Listen, we don't know that the character is actually human, though. It's possible that our Noita has a, a digestive tract that is functionally immune to such concerns. So we can uh, we can digging bolt ourselves in ourselves into these gold veins down here. They're pretty small deposits though. Try to leave myself a uh, a path to run from if these guys get their angles down quickly. Ah. Okay. We're just going to cut our way all the way across this level. I actually, I'm really, really happy <laughs> that we found Digging Bolt. It seems very good. Ooh. Double oo. I kind of hate how often on this map there are health upgrades in just completely innocuous spots. How are you supposed to know where you need to look, right? You just have to go absolutely everywhere all the time. Okay, that's compelling. 320 mana max with 105 charge speed, 12 capacity. I mean, it's got shuffle, but it's also got so many cool modifiers on it. Would I rather keep this or... Th I think I'm going to replace that guy. All right, we can build some fun stuff with that later. There's another case where, like, technically, optimal play is going to have us doing this every time we encounter gold. But, like, that's tedious. I don't actually want to do that. Oof, boy, it does take a while to dig through the good stone. I mean, it's not, like, a huge... I don't have to feel too bad. It's not a huge amount of money in any of these deposits. And I suppose, technically, there is at least some incentive not to do that in the form of the guy who shows up when you take too long and shoots teleport blood at you. But honestly, he's just not... He's not that much of a threat. <laughs> he kind of, a lot of the time, he kind of just shows up and you shoot him once and he gets his blood all over him and then teleports away and you never see him again. I do not know how the tentacle decides what direction to attack in when it's, when it's upset. 
Why is there so much slime on me that I can't even watch it wash it off? Ugh. Too much hostile goop in this area. There we go. Thank you. Thank you for eventually flying directly into that. Man, these guys are pretty good at evading. Not exactly killing it on money. I probably, ugh, I do, I do not want to dig for every gold deposit though. It just seems so tedious. Speaking of tedious, let's let's just dig through the soft stone. I know it's not a totally ideal path, but it is actually going to get us where we're going faster. I appreciate that this area is organized like this though, with these with these easier to drill tunnels throughout the walls. All right, this is enough. This is enough gold all gathered together that it's probably worth it. And honestly, I guess if I would stop to fight to fight every enemy to pick up the money they'll drop, like that that involves both time and risk. It's not really that much better than digging in all of the places. Ow. I'm not 100% sure what I took damage from when I touched the ground there. I just fill the air with noise so that he can never take off. And somehow I'll still get hit, because I've got, ta I've got talent. You gotta imagine this guy's gonna bring us down to his level and then beat us with experience. Okay, 535 is honestly, it feels like a lot of effort for the amount of money that we've managed to pull here. You know what? I don't need to go in there. That's fine. You just, you have a nice day, sir. Enjoy your swim. This is a hell of a lot better than having to wait for coal to burn. Okay, let's see if there's anything up there. Oh, the fireflies. Also, kind of setting up a situation where I can drown in a tunnel without really considering the full implications of that. I will say, another, like, there are a lot of things about this game that just feel really good. Like watching fires burn through pools of oil and stuff. And picking up piles of, uh, of gold pixels, like individual gold pixels like that, is really cool. The way you just like, the way you, you sort of fall through them and consume them is really neat. I've done a lot of, uh, a lot of really good moment-to-moment -moment experiential type work. Okay, hi everyone. Now you've done it. Are you happy? Are you happy that you shot me? This is actually kind of sucks. This is not this is not going all that well. In no small part due to a number of enemies dealing damage to us after they died, which I'm not not a big fan of.
rinse it off, rinse it off. Okay. Well, I wanted to go fungal cavern diving for loot. We might have to, um, might have to just grab, like, the frontmost thing or two and then leave, though. I don't actually think I want that. Okay, that guy's got a wand. That guy had a wand. Oh, right, this is a terrible projectile for this area. Uh, even worse. So sometimes other areas get that modifier randomly, but it looks like the fungal caverns just always have it. Alright, what's your deal? Pretty low, f pretty low delays and recharge times. Oh, uh, you know, it's not horrible. It does have pretty good capacity. It doesn't really have modifiers or spells that we are like the things that we would want to pull off of it, though. Let's see what this is. Okay, I'll take that. That seems fine. All oh, right, you're not you're not a realistic threat to me here. Also, it seems like this projectile is maybe completely unaffected by the air. What did I just break a thing of? Worm pheromones? That's probably not a big deal. Oh, okay, that's not useful. Wash off the worm, wash off the uh, thing in worm pheromones. Well, we'll go in here a little bit. 29 health is not a lot to explore with, but I think we can probably see at least a little bit more stuff. Especially since, apparently, we have a wand that's great for fighting in here. Are you a kind of mushroom thing I have fought before? I'm not sure that I have. It should be pretty easy to keep... Uh, the Grell at bay here. Oh, that's he reached through the terrain. That feels that feels a little unfair. Oh no! Oh no! It's the big one. It's gonna it's gonna swarm us. Yep, I needed to back off faster. And then this asshole was waiting behind us. Oof! Oof! I got greedy. I should have just left. I was like, things are going so well, and we got our shotgun. Yeah, that's that's on me. This game definitely has a strong push-your-luck kind of feeling to it. Um, and I am a sucker for that stuff. I get caught by that stuff all of the time. So, that's going to be it for us for today. We are out of time. Thank you all so much for watching. When you come back next time tomorrow, I'm just going to not do risky things that are likely to kill us. Right? Doesn't that sound straightforward? And we'll see you then.